So if the slowest times in this one are 4.01, could we see a 14 man field sub four? If the pacing's done right, that might be the case as we see Guzman and Hurd setting that pace early. So Fiddler up there early. Also Sharp from Wendery. We'll be looking to the likes of Mitch Langbourne to possibly get his first sub four tonight. Had a brilliant win over the weekend at Glen Huntley. And Langbourne in a good position actually towards the rear of the field. As the Lockie Heard leads them through with Johnny Guzman, Aidan Roberts up there, then we've got Sharp and Fiddler. Samuel Foster from Melbourne University. A little bit of a gap falling now to Goldsmith. So we're hearing 62 being shouted from the other side of the, the track. So it's a good starting pace. Certainly setting that lead bunch up for an attack on the sub four. So Roberts has been quite aggressive sitting right near the paces. So Hurd coming through now. He'll be pacing our A800 shortly. So save a bit of energy there, please, Lockie. So it's Roberts. We've then got Sharp, Fiddler, Foster, Langbourne. So Alistair Christie also moving nicely. Got Langbourne just to the back of him. So Robert's now out on his own. So approaching the one kilometre mark. So Roberts, 10 metres up on the two boys from Wendere, about 2.34 through the K. So the pace is pretty decent here. It's definitely in the 350s. So Langbourne, one to watch, running with Christie. You've also got Bowers, Foster, then Marin Talley. O'Donnell making his move ahead of O'Brien and Matthews. So Roberts is actually extending this lead. So 300 to go, he's got a gap of nearly 20 metres. I think it's Mitch Langbourne who's slipping into second position here. He hasn't broken four. We saw him break two for the 800. Indications are he can do it, and I think tonight's his night. Bowers also moving, moving beautifully there, the old Scotch runner. Christie up there, and we're watching Seth O'Donnell now make his move. So it is on. Roberts is going to try and hold this lead into the last straight. So Aidan Roberts leads it. O'Donnell's coming at Langbourne, but I think it's all about time for most of these guys. So Roberts still leading, but I think O'Donnell, sitting at the back of the pack for so long, might have the goods of Roberts might hold it, but I think O'Donnell come over the top. And we're looking at a time just over 350. Big run there from Fiddler, I think it was. Also Christie, Langbourne's definitely got his sub four, as have all of these right through. O'Brien just misses it. And then we'll have McMinnamy. But wow. Goldsmith will come through and finish off the men's B15. But I think majority of the field there will be going home tonight with big PBs.